Hi, Capricorn. Now, right here, I'm gonna do a quick reading. I did a live Sunday because this is probably Monday for a lot of people by the time this video uploads. And it was pretty nice. It was about an hour and a half long. Didn't do any. Oh, excuse me. Didn't do any personal pulls, but it was a collective pull and it was pretty interesting. I got a new deck of cards with empowering questions and so I asked those, which I probably will do at the end of the reading. Uh, just two of them to make you think about yourself and focus on yourself. That's what they're for, for you to focus on yourself and empower you. So, messages. What messages do we have for the Capricorn Collective? Spirit, please and thank you. Let's get started. Messages for Capricorn, please and thank you. What messages do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you. If you are new to my channel, my name is Narai. Go by Nay. Welcome. If you watch my video, please like and subscribe if you like my style. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles has to do with teamwork. It also has to do with skills and putting together of energies. That is normally my cheat at work card. That's a collaboration or working with somebody. Or for me also, it is when I read it, somebody you are trying to work with. But I have the Eight of Swords. This is feeling helpless, being in um, victim mode, being mentally imprisoned. This is feeling stuck. This is a choice. This is mostly a way of thinking. You're, you have a negative mindset, negative thoughts. It's self-inflicted, it's self-imposed, self-inflicted, same thing. Messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Please and thank you. I have the King of Wands. This is a natural born leader, a visionary, somebody bold that sees the bigger picture. This person can see beyond like what's right in front of them. This is somebody charming that is an entrepreneur. Of course, an entrepreneur can see long term or in the distant future, not just the near future. I don't know how this person plays into this. Find out. Messages for Capricorn. Who's the King of Wands? Messages for Capricorn. Oh. I pulled the Lover's card. Three of Pentacles. This is somebody you are supposed to be in partnership with or supposed to be collaborating with, so working with somebody. This is supposed to be teamwork, but you are in Eight of Swords energy, and then I have the King of Wands, and then I have the Lover's card. which is divine love, deep soul connection, possible soulmate. Messages for Capricorn. Messages. Oh.
so here's this is specific so it's like and I said this is my cheating at work card it's like somebody thought somebody was cheating Maybe this was a business owner or somebody that had their own. It's like somebody thought somebody was cheating. And this person, this King of Wands energy person had their stuff together. They were about their money. And this was, this was your soulmate. Oh my god. And this person did cheat. It's the three of cups in the reverse. They cheated. I have never pulled these like this before, ever. This person, this person wasn't like this at first, but then they started cheating. And it's like, for me, it's like the person was making it seem like they were doing work on themselves or investing into the business more, and that's not what was happening. What in the heck? I don't like this. I do not like this. And see, this is normally my self-investment card. But it's really hard to expect somebody to do this when they're in the Eight of Swords energy. We haven't even gotten back to you guys, Capricorn. And... King of Wands was passing the wand around, possibly. Yeah, this situation tested your faith, Capricorn. You, it's like you didn't have boundaries either. You needed to set boundaries. But honestly, if somebody wants to cheat, they're just gonna cheat. I just don't understand why people can't be honest. They try to hold on to someone. I pulled the Magician card and the Four of Wands. Because whoever this Capricorn is, you were trying to manifest you knew you had all the tools and you were trying to manifest. You were trying to manifest a marriage. My God. Or this could say a different story of once you, once you learn how to have strong boundaries at that time, you can actually manifest marriage, stability, mental, emotional stability, which could help lead to marriage, of course. I feel like this was somebody's husband. I feel like the King of Wands was somebody's husband. It's almost like the person, it's almost like this Capricorn suspected this person of doing stuff before they even did it. So I have the Queen of Cups energy.
Which is a reminder, Capricorn, that you have to listen to your intuition. And you can be emotional. Do not allow this situation to make you cold when it comes to love. Know that you're a healer and you can heal yourself. Do not turn cold. This is one person. Be compassionate with yourself. Messages and guidance. The sign of Capricorn. Ooh, I have never had a reading like this. Yeah, I keep going back to this card when I'm sitting here and looking at it, and it's like you have to work on yourself, invest in yourself, and part of that is with the creating of the boundaries. But I haven't pulled any healing cards. Messages and guidance. Yeah. Some of you are getting your self-confidence back after this situation. For others of you, it's going to be a struggle. This is either somebody's husband or somebody thought they were going to marry this person. Oh, crap. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is the same card I pulled in my live. And to me, this is a cheater. This is somebody... Ugh. So we had a, a person portraying themselves, his self or herself, as a person being in King of Wands energy. And this person was really a knight. Impulsive. Unreliable. Hot tempered. A little too energetic, if you know what I mean. Someone that's kind of like, you can't control me. <laughs> My respect for this King of Wands is totally gone now because it was a, a fraud. Messages for Capricorn. Guidance and messages for Capricorn. This is so specific, it's just bothering me. Messages. Messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Why is that so loud? Yeah. You guys are in protective mode now, Capricorn. Really, really focus on your boundaries and protecting your energy and your space. Stand your ground. This person may try to tell you you're confused or something didn't happen. I'm going to say this. When it comes to this person, I don't care how strong or weak you think you are, you better act like you're strong when you're dealing with this person. I feel like this person's a manipulator. It's going to be a challenge, too. It's going to be a challenge for you to have boundaries and stand your ground, but you can do it. Messages for Capricorn, please and thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you guys feel left out in the cold because of this particular situation with this person. Some of you may have been dependent on this person because this person was an entrepreneur, if that was even true. You guys are thinking negatively about love now. 
and worried about how hard things are going to be if you part ways from this person. But Spirit is saying, Capricorn, this is a wake-up call. This happened for a reason. This happened for a reason. This happened so that you could learn how to love yourself more. I just got really lightheaded. I need a drink, I'm sorry. This happened so that you could love yourself more. This is a symbolic death. It's time for a major change. It's a time for a major change. It's time for you to let this go. Yes, I know it's easier said than done. But this is showing it's time for you to move on. Some of you are weighing your options with this person. What options? Ooh! Spirit is saying, take a leap of faith. Trust in the universe. Believe in yourself. Have that childlike wonder. Be spontaneous. Get the hell out of your comfort zone. I'm waiting to pull the judgment card, I swear. Messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Because I said that, it probably won't come out. <laughs> Ooh. Either your person had options, or if you take this leap of faith, you will have options. But re realize and know that sometimes options keep us confused. Options can be distractions. They can cloud our judgment. But you guys, this is confusion too. That leap of faith, man. But no, you guys are worried about what was lost with the Five of Cups energy because you feel abandoned. Some of you feel like a failure and you're mourning this particular situation. And some of you are feeling like, but what about me? Scorpio. Messages. For Capricorn, messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn, please. Messages and readings over. This is a wake up call with the judgment card. This is an awakening. This is for you to discover your life purpose. This is for you to evaluate things and see your role and what you could have done differently and what the lesson is for you to learn. You have to listen to that voice inside. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I know I normally do. But it's your decision even when I tell you what to do or my opinion on it. But the decision is yours. This is telling you to focus on yourself. This is telling you to look. See what's going on. What's really going on. Not what you want to happen. Or how you hope things turn out. But see things for what they really are. And be brutally honest with yourself. This was a wake up call. This whole screwed up situation was a wake up call. So I'm going to pull empowering questions for you. 
because I feel like this will help. Something for you to think about that's all about you. Ooh, this reading just got me feeling some kind of way. <laughs> what kind of advice on life would your old self give to your current self, Capricorn? What kind of advice would your old self give to your current self? One more card and then I'm, I'm done. So sorry for whoever's hurting from this. It's really messed up. But choose yourself. Choose yourself. You never go wrong when you choose to love yourself. Oh my God. Tell me you don't love tarot. Divination period. This is the ultimate. What is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? What is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? In things or people too. In situations like this. This is for you to think about. Write it down. Think about it. And take your time and really like marinate on this. Meditate on it. Marinate. Whatever word you want to use. Awesome. Thank you for watching. I want you to know that what this person did to you or put you through is not a reflection of your worthiness. You are so worthy of love and respect and kindness and honor and transparency. This person really messed up. And you know what? It is not your loss because you are a gem. It is theirs. And if you are a cross watcher watching this and the tables were reversed, I am talking to you too. Feel free to reverse the roles. But whoever the person was that got hurt in this situation, I am so, so sorry. All right, my name is Nay. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.